Hey, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do a sand skip trowel. This is a, a finish that's really popular back east and in some other areas, but it seems to be more popular, popular back east in areas like Pennsylvania, Maine, all that. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. And this is going to be my first time doing this, but I'm good at matching any texture. So let's see what happens here. All right, thanks for stopping by my channel as always. And uh, this is a texture I've been wanting to do for a while. I have actually done some sand texture, but not quite in the same style as what I see on YouTube. And apparently that's a popular style in areas like Florida and that. So we're gonna show you how to do that. And I was playing with it just a little bit the other night. And I think this might be a texture that you guys who are novices would like because it seems to be it, it almost makes you do a skip trowel with the sand in it and again I did sand years ago but we did a totally different style it actually kind of had a pattern of peaks and such so this is going to be a little bit different and putting the sand in it actually ends up giving you quite a bit different texture than the skip trowel that I do so what you need to do is decide if you like that or not I'm going to try and show you some close-ups of what it looks like and what the difference is. Now, one reason I wanted to do this is because early on when I did some of the skip trowel texture videos, I had people tell me that that's not a skip trowel. You have to have sand in it. Well, out here in Colorado and in the Midwest, we tend to not have sand. As a matter of fact, I've had this little jug right here that says 20 grit sand on it. I've been carrying this around for probably 20 years and it's this full i've probably used that much out of it in 20 years i only use this for patch and repair work so that's how few times that i've actually had to patch anything with sand in it but i've got it in case i need to so today we're going to show you the, the process here all we're going to use is some uh, lightweight all-purpose mud and in this case this is usg but any old light weight of work you could use regular weight all purpose really i think whatever you got on hand now if you see here i just have a little bit because i'm going to do a little demonstration so for that little bit all i put in there was about a tablespoon of sand but what you want to do is play with it you might want more sand you might want less just depending on what you want it to do what you want it to look like the more sand you put the more it'll skip you can get coarser sand and that will actually skip quite a bit more gives you a much more coarse look so if you can get some variety of sand you might want to play with that and i think i'm going to put just a little bit more sand in here and partly to show you guys this 20 grit sand it is a pretty fine sand so i'll take a picture of this and show you but i would say this is quite a bit finer than beach sand so we'll just put that in there stir it around a little bit and then we'll get going on this now, hey if you like learning skills like this uh, drywall textures repairs coating taping all kinds of skills i teach these on my channel so be sure and click that subscribe button and you'll see that little bell icon pop up next click that because that's what will get you notified each time we put out a new video because we're going to teach you a lot of skills like this it's my goal on this channel to teach you guys uh, if some of you want to see a demonstration only there's some other channels that do that you can also watch mine and get the demonstration version by skipping to that part but i try and give you a little more in-depth knowledge about what's going on and teach you guys how to do these things now i'm just using a 10 inch knife today this is one of my old backup knives my good knives are on the jobs this will work fine if you're really so desired you could use a trowel hawk and trowel whatever you've got whatever you're good at so let's start out like i say i haven't done this texture in forever i haven't actually done this style we're going to try here 
ever. We're just going to experiment right here and see what happens. So the first thing you want to do is play with it a little bit. And you can see I just put a little bit of mud on here. You don't need a whole lot to get it to skip. If you put too much on here, it's going to smear more. You'll get bigger, flatter areas. If that's what you want, that's good. You might be wondering what I've got right here. This is a piece of sheetrock I flipped around and I painted it dark brown. That way you're going to be able to see the mud going on here real easy. So, like I say, get a little bit loaded on here and then just put it on the surface and just kind of very lightly drag it. You see how it pulls the mud off of there? So, you just start going through and... And if it's going on too light, that usually means you didn't get enough on your knife. So. Let me just show you just for example, I'm going to put a pretty heavy amount on here and try and do the same thing and it tends to go on a little bit heavier. So if you want the little smaller droplets, put a little bit less mud. So what we're doing is we're barely putting any pressure right here and holding our knife fairly steep against the surface. The more you stand it up, the less mud that's going to come off of here. You may not even get any if you stand it up too much. So you stand it up and then you slowly lean it over. It's, it's a lot like coating a joint because as the mud comes off, you got to push a little bit more further down to get the mud to come off some more. And if you go kind of quick, it tends to pull the mud off in these bumps like this better. If you go too slow, you tend to smear it, but you can do it slow too. It just, when guys do this for a living, they tend to want to go faster. Now, personally, I'm really not a fan of the little small dot style but that is pretty popular back east so if you like it go for it so i'm just going to finish up this area like this and then i'm going to go over here and try and create a little bit more broader areas so we're going to do So this is closer to my skip trowel, but with sand in it over on this side. So there we have that style. And again, if we wanted to switch back and get a smaller pattern, we just load a little bit less on here and You can put it on pretty much as light as you want with this method. So let me do one more thing here. If I can get any on this trial without a hawk, let me do a little bit with that. And again, I'm not a hawk and a trial guy, but I have run one. I've done whole jobs with them when I was learning how to do skip trial. The guy that showed me we were doing with a trowel, so I did it with a trowel. It's a similar procedure. It's probably kind of noisy here, but... But what I would want, it's really hard to get it out of a pan with a hawk, I mean a trowel. But again, I would want a little bit more like this myself. Now. I'm going to show you these sand lines. It'll make it chatter. That's kind of part of this texture. Or you can lay this trowel down a little bit more if you want. And that smooths it out. So if you decide you got too many chatter lines, really flatten this out and go across it. And it'll kind of take out some of that chatter. All right, let me point out one other thing. Let's just say you get a knife mark like that one right there. 
So if you think there's too much busyness in it, like that knife mark there or anything else, you can always just go back over it real lightly and just take those out. So a texture like this is just really up to you. If you're trying to create a certain look, just play with it until you get that. I gave you a few variables that should help you with that, how to get it wider, smaller little droplet-like things, almost like a knockdown. Now I'm going to show you just one more variety real quick. I can't remember exactly how we used to do this. My uh, nephew would know how to do this. His dad taught him. I think he would. So would my sister. My si sister actually knows how to do a skip trial drywall on drywall. But what they did was you could do kind of like patterns where let's see like I say I haven't done this a long time it was kind of a cool pattern when it got done it looked kind of like uh, mountains peaks is the best way I can describe it and this isn't going to do it justice but my point is you can create patterns with this too if you want you can change this look up any way you want and now it's gone hey i hope that helped you out if you want to learn more textures like this i've got a lot more from orange peel knockdown skip trowel stomp brush and brocade and more so check out my playlist at the end of this video and be sure and subscribe click the bell icon that way each time i put out another texture video you'll get notified